hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today is the number two two series and i just want to say thank you and welcome to this channel and for those who are new my name is abigail oliamba so before we get started we are going to invite the holy spirit in this conversation so let us pray heavenly father god we thank you lord jesus for your love your mercy we thank you lord god for your kindness we pray lord jesus even as i speak right now god let me just anoint my mouth i pray lord jesus even for the hearers of this word oh my father god i pray father god that you give them the right revelation that they need oh my father god and i pray father in the mighty name of jesus christ oh god as they grow into your will as they grow to understand uh their purpose in you oh my father god and in everything that you've called them to do as you form them in the mother's room but oh my father god we thank you father god for the blood of jesus we thank you father god for everything that you are doing oh my father god that it is not by might not by power but by your spirit oh god we thank you father god and we just welcome your presence in this hour in jesus name holy spirit have your way in jesus name i pray amen so the number two two series we are going to start with um basically um daniel chapter 2 verse 22 so the Holy Spirit gave me these verses. Um, he reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in the darkness and light dwells with him. Okay. Somebody asked on this channel what, you know, the 222 means when they wake up at that time. I believe that this part is you um, seeking God. When you wake up, when God wakes you up at this time, ask him what he wants to tell you. And also God gave me um, Isaiah 22 verse 22. So Isaiah 22 verse 22 says, I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open the holy spirit he told me that i should not fear what the enemy is up to but understand that god's plan whatever he opens i don't have to be afraid you know um, for it closing up what god has given me is mine and i don't have to fear for anything and he also gave me uh revelation chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 it says to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these are the words of him who is holy and true who holds the key of david what he opens no one can shut what he shuts no one can open i know your deeds see i have placed before you an open door that no one can shut i know that you have little little strength yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name okay when the holy spirit was reminding me that you know i know that you are trusting my word and you have not denied the words that i've spoken to you and you are holding on to so he was reminding me that no one can shut anything that he has opened in my life so therefore i should not be afraid of anybody snatching anything because of you know the things that i've been through and because of you know the demonic forces the witchcraft everything that the holy spirit was revealing to me that were hidden in my family so god was telling me that you know the enemy is not allowed to do anything and that god is in control that i have the keys to the house of david because of jesus christ what he opens what god opens in my life no one will be able to shut it because it's god's might and power it's the spirit of god who moves and wills to do the things i'm supposed to do that god has called me to do so i should not be afraid of man but i should be afraid of god and that's what god was telling me and the enemy was trying to you know throw me off the territory so this is the other two two that God gave me. So the other one, everybody's favorite, which is marriage, you know, the 2 2 Genesis chapter 2, verse 22. I think this is everyone's favorite. Okay. So Genesis chapter 2, verse 22 says, Then the Lord met a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Okay. So on this part, the Holy Spirit was telling me, that he is the one who's going to bring me to my husband that i don't need to do anything and i remember you know i was trying in my power to make everything happen like every guy that i saw you know i was like god is this the one is this the one and god was like no i will let you know when the time is right so the holy spirit gave me isaiah chapter 60 because i kept on asking him and he wanted me to trust him with the word and isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 says the least of you will become a thousand and the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord. In its time, I will do this swiftly. Okay. I, the Lord, make everything happen in the right time. Those are the words that I heard from the Holy Spirit. He spoke. I, the Lord, will make it happen when the time is right okay and i was like okay god i got it because god wants to change the system of the world to waiting on god god is the one who arranges our marriages and especially for kingdom marriages 
a kingdom marriage is based on God arranging it. When the right time happens, God will do everything swiftly. He's going to do it so fast. Because sometimes when you see other people, you know, their promises coming to pass, you're looking around like, God, what about me? You know, and at his time, he'll make everything happen. That's the reason why some of you guys, if you're petitioning for marriage, that's why you're seeing the number two, two. God is saying, your marriage is near. You know, just, you know, ask God how to prepare and how to wait on him and, you know, how to trust him. And while you're waiting, basically, what are you doing? I was thinking that me and my kingdom spouse, we're going to do this together. And God was like, you need to start working by yourself. You need to grow in your confidence. You need to um, learn how to, you know, cook, how to work out, how to do all those things. And that's when the Holy Spirit was just like teaching me all those things and to be content in the season of loneliness, you know, when I'm waiting just to, you know, love God and to understand that, you know, Jesus is my husband and you have to wait on God. God is faithful. God is so gracious. He is, you know, he is too mighty. Like every time when I think about the goodness of God, like sometimes I'm content even in the season of waiting because I know that God is faithful. He has done so, so much. Like when God starts moving in your life, you, you are going to be full of testimonies, okay? You are going to be full of testimonies because you are chosen by God and God has picked you and it is a privilege to be chosen by God and to work for him and just to be loved by him, guys, like for him to just move in your life. It is amazing. And just to give you the joy, you know, um, it is unspeakable because you know, when God moves, everything changes. So the other one is Acts chapter 2 verse 22, which says, fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him as you yourselves know. So God wants to do miracles in your life through Jesus Christ in your life. And God is trying to confine the wise, okay? He uses the lowly things of this world to confine the wise. And that's basically what God is trying to do. The things that people have pushed back, the things that people have looked down on, God is saying, I can use that. And that's basically why God wants to use your life to be a sign and wonder and miracle through Jesus Christ. As you guys remember from the prophetic word, you know, the word of God is for everyone. Those who humble themselves and seek God first instead of everything that he can give them, but to seek him with all their heart, mind, and soul. The word of God reminds us also that to love God is to obey his commandments. So we have to obey his commandments. And that's how we show that we love God. Whatever God hates, you hate. Whatever he loves, you love. And that's basically what God, you know, wants to do in our lives. He wants to make us a bride that is pure and pleasing so that when he comes, we don't feel ashamed okay because we know that we've lived a life you know according to the will of god it's not a perfect life because we're all saved by grace but according to the will of god to please god and that's what we aim for so guys um i am so sorry that i'm not releasing these quickly so the verses to read are daniel chapter 2 verse 22 isaiah chapter 22 verse 22 genesis chapter 2 verse 22 acts chapter 2 verse 22 and then Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 through 8. So I hope you guys are blessed. And I will see you guys next time when God speaks. Bye.